Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of MacBreak Studio. A few weeks ago on our Ripple Live show, someone posted a question. Can you bring in GarageBand loops into Final Cut Pro 10? On which I vehemently said, no, there's no way this is possible. And then I woke up in a cold sweat one night thinking, maybe you can. And that put me to work on this tutorial. Now before we get into Final Cut Pro 10, we need to do some work in the Finder to make all of our GarageBand loops available to Final Cut Pro 10. So what you're going to do is open up Finder window and make sure you select the Macintosh hard drive. This is the drive that your OS is installed on. Then you're going to click Library. Then inside the library, you're going to select Audio. And inside of Audio, Apple Loops, then Apple. And then here you will see all of the folders that are available to GarageBand, Final Cut Pro 10, and Logic. So the first folder I want to draw your attention to is this Final Cut Pro Sound Effects folder. If I select that, you'll see a number of folders, and these folders appear in the sound browser of Final Cut Pro 10. You may recognize a lot of these. And then here are the Apple Loops for GarageBand. And notice that they are not currently available to Final Cut Pro 10 because they actually have to exist in the sound effects folder in order to show up in Final Cut which is a little counterintuitive, but just stick with me here. Go ahead and select the Apple Loops for GarageBand, right click and choose Make Alias. I have an alias here. I'm gonna drag that into the Final Cut Pro Sound Effects folder. I'll locate the alias and the folder name is too long, so I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna type out GB for GarageBand and then Loops. Great, now we're ready to jump into Final Cut Pro 10. Okay, to locate a GarageBand loops, go ahead and click the sound browser. And then up here in this menu, you'll see a list of all the folders that are available to Final Cut Pro 10, including that alias I just created at the finder level. There it is, GarageBand loops. And here are the loops. And let's go ahead and preview a couple of them. All right, nice. Let's play this one, African King. And maybe this one. So you're going to select the loop and just drag it into the timeline. And I'm going to make sure it starts right at the beginning of the timeline. And unlike GarageBand, I can't just grab the end and pull it out. It's not really a loop. It's just a clip. But I can make it behave like a loop by putting it inside of a secondary storyline. I'm going to press Command G to put it in a group. Hold down the Option key and then drag the clip to the right to make a copy while keeping it inside the container. I'll do this one more time. Option drag. And what I've done is taken that loop and essentially pasted it two times inside the container. Let's hear how this sounds. Okay, so it is very loopy. So we're going to want to add some additional loops to make it less, well, repetitive. I'm going to scroll down and look for some percussion, perhaps a tambourine. I'm going to preview this tambourine 10. Now I should point out something. Final Cut Pro 10 is not a music app. It has no idea what the tempo is of these loops, nor does it have any idea what the key is. However, you can be somewhat assured that the loops will work together if they're in the same family. So for example, these Southern Rock loops will generally, I say generally, uh, if you put them together, they'll sound correct. They'll be in the same tempo and the same key, but that's not always a case, but it's just something to keep in mind. For example, let's go ahead and drag this tambourine into the timeline. Just put it right there. And right away, I can see that's the same duration. So we might be good here. So let's bring up the volume a little bit and let's play this back. Nice. So maybe we want that rhythm to stop here and then reappear over here. So I'm gonna hold down the option key, drag, make a copy and then bring that tambourine back in over here. Great. 
Now, what if we want to use a loop that actually has a melody that's in a specific key? What can we do about that, if anything? Let's go ahead and go back to the top. And I'm looking for one called Alternative Acoustic. And I'm going to go ahead and play this. Maybe seven. Okay, already I noticed that the tempo is slower than the loops we already have in the timeline. Plus, being a musician, I know that's not in the right key. There's no way that's going to work. But let's put it in anyway. Put it in there. And let's see. <laughs> that's exactly what I wanted. Um, it sounds horrible, but of course, if I did this in GarageBand, GarageBand would homogenize the key and the tempo so these would all work. But again, Final Cut is not a music app. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and disable the, the clip, the loop that actually has a melody in it. So I'm going to press V to disable it, and let's listen. Okay. The tempo is definitely off, and what can we do about that? Well, one thing you can do, and this is pretty cool, if you select the clip, press Command-R to bring up the timing bar, and then just drag the timing bar to adjust it. In this case, I'm going to adjust it to match the length of the tambourine loop. Let's hear how it sounds. I don't know, it sounds pretty good. One thing I want to point out is that when you're using these loops, um, at least the way I use them, I'm just going for a feel. I'm not necessarily going to end up with these loops in my final mix, but maybe I'm working with a composer and I want to kind of get the sense of the, the energy I want, maybe the key, what have you. I would use the loops that way rather than necessarily trying to arrange something in Final Cut. But the point is, you can do it in Final Cut, and that's the amazing thing about what I just showed you. You can make your GarageBand loops available within Final Cut Pro 10. So if you use GarageBand or Logic regularly, I'm wondering, is this something you would find useful when you're working in Final Cut Pro 10? Leave the comments below, and thanks for watching.